Just moments after leaving a peace festival, an up-and-coming Baltimore rapper was gunned down at a busy northeast Baltimore intersection. Now, as police search for his killer, an eyewitness recounts the bloody ambush. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live at city police headquarters with the investigation and that new interview. Mike? Denise, this gunman likely had help, and the murder has come to a shock to the many young people who looked up to Lor Scuda. Uh, his career was just starting to take off, and that eyewitness describes the startling way his life ended. Despite a record number of tips, police have not arrested anyone for gunning down up and coming young rapper Tyrese Watson, known as Lor Scuda. I'm living better than I was, but I'm still in the trenches. They do believe someone targeted him as he left a peace rally at Morgan State University, tracking him as he drove toward the intersection of Moravia and Harford. This eyewitness, who asked we conceal her identity, describes the brazen attack in chilling detail. He uh, just had a white t-shirt over his head. And he uh, was backing up, walking backwards, and he fired seven shots. And then he jumped into a green vehicle. And the next thing you know, I'm ducking and running. It was unbelievable. It's not like you would see in the movie. It's sickening. It disgusts me. Um, he could have killed an innocent bystander. Bullets do not have a name. Police are looking for any video from the Morgan rally that could lead them to the killer. Somebody else is holding a piece of the puzzle that we can use. That's what we're seeking at this point. I think I got the bird flu. I'm tired of salad packs. I think I need a bird or two. A product of Baltimore's streets, Lor Scuda was on the cusp of making it big. This young man should be alive. His family should not be grieving now. But unfortunately, hundreds and hundreds of young folks just like him uh, die on the city streets. While police have not released a motive, Tara, an aspiring rapper herself, believes someone may have been jealous of Laura Scuda's success. Don't nobody want to see you get anything. If they can't get it, they don't want to see you get it either because he spoke real. And that's one thing you got to do when you in the, when you in the rap industry, you got to speak real. The eyewitness we talked to said her heart aches for the victim's family. Several prominent rappers have expressed their condolences and also their outrage that this has happened. And one more note, police have yet to release any video from that intersection. Denise? All right, thank you very much, Mike. Now, police are using a new method to gather information. They are asking you to text them at 443-902-4824. You can send them video or pictures that may shed light on this murder. It's the first time they've done this, citing the strong social media interest in this particular case. You can still remain anonymous.